Hello, I'm Chris, this is Gross Models, and this is issue 64 of D'Agostini's Build Your Own X-Wing, uh, the 1 16th scale uh, X-Wing model, which is coming together quite nicely. We've done all the four wings, uh, we've done R2, uh, we're doing the cockpit at the moment, but we've got some of the nose done as well, so it, it's getting there, I mean, 64, we're on our way to the end. Uh, the magazine, we're talking about TIE Fighter Toys miniature versions, they're obviously quite tiny, but... Yeah, I, I vaguely remember seeing these, but don't remember ever having them. Definitely didn't have the battle damage one. Um, but yeah, it's all, all cool. Uh, Mark Mattin, I don't know who he is. Iron Squadron Leader, apparently. It looks Rebels-like. Uh, I still haven't seen the end of Rebels yet, but I shall get around to that at some point and watch some of that. A different astromech with an even bigger head. I don't know. Uh, right. The build itself, the cockpit fittings and lighting. In this issue, we get the seat, which does actually really help with the scale. It, it shows you the size of the X-Wing and the size of the things. I'm not sure about the big headrest, because he's already got a big helmet on. So I don't know that he needs a massive headrest like that. And I don't know why there's a hole in the seat, because we haven't got a pilot. So I'm not sure. Maybe I think there is a pilot in the premium edition, which I didn't spring for. So we'll see about that. We've got string of three leds on one plug which is quite interesting uh we've got that we have a box of bits which again i'm not going to get out but they're extra plant on details for the cockpit which we shall be doing momentarily i don't think we're using the seat this week uh so let's have a look we're adding the details so we're pr bringing back from last time the front cockpit console that we have already uh it turns out i am going to get all of these out because we're going to need them all and uh, beware of static pulling, especially with tiny pieces. Make sure it's empty before you throw it away, because otherwise you might be throwing away something you need. Uh, so I shall use these as and when we need them. I'll keep them safe to one side. Figure out what I'm going to need when I'm going to need it. Uh, I shall be using tweezers and indeed a, a visor to see closer what I can do. Uh, right, it says, fit the round pin A into the hole outlined in yellow. So I'm going to have to go back to, right, I'm going to have to move things around a bit and have the magazine up there so I can see it while I'm talking to you. And so I can actually see this bit over here with the A bit on it. So that's the tiny little bit that's tried to escape. Fitting that, pushing it all the way in, into that little hole in the corner there. It says use tweezers, so I will use tweezers. We're getting that into there. Put a finger over the top of it so it doesn't fly off. And seeing if we can get that pushed in. Yep, that goes in there. Okay, cool. That was easy. Uh, next up, part three, fitting the tubular fitting B, uh, which is that long bit there, uh, into the bit next to it. Up there, that's okay. That makes sense. Some sort of targeting scope, I think. That's in there. Uh, push the detail all the way in so it looks like this. That is all the way in. That doesn't go in any further than that. that that's up to the end, but it's not, not a very tight fit. So I think I shall be coming back and gluing that in place. Uh, fit the long detail, C. Uh, is that one? Yep. Uh, into... Doesn't show it, it just says push the detail. Oh, the no. long detail so it goes on the side there. Of course, it does. It's just another slightly different colored panel with a silvery button on it. So that goes in there. If you were going to be fully repainting this, you might not want to fit all these in yet. Um, if you want to do those a different color to the base thing, but I'm happy with that. I'm going to weather it, but not completely repaint it. Uh, I'm pushing all the detail in so it looks like this. Uh, I am going to have trouble now because I need to see what it's got there and see what it says there. Fit the triangular detail D, uh, then E up next to it. So let's have a look. D is... I can't really show you anything on there. Uh, basically, it's going to be the triangle that fits that shape. So it'll be that one. I think the rest of this is just going to be fitting the bits into the bits that are the same shape as the bits you've got. So let's have a look. I've got a bit that's shaped like that. That's going to go over this side. So yeah, I'll be doing these all out of order because I can't flip backwards and forwards 
and the pictures they give you to show you the panels are not terribly clear. Uh, that's that shape, so that will go over this side. All the lovely buttons and switches. That's that shape, yeah, with that keypad thing coming off the side there, so that's going to go over there. A bit like that. Yep. Uh, we've got this other triangular bit with a flattened top down there. Okay, I've got a big round bit, another bit. I'm running out of places to put them. I've got a big hole there. It's definitely loose. I'm going to glue that in place as well when I get the glue out. I thought that was going to be okay, but apparently it isn't. All right, let's have another look at the page and see what it says next. So that, 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 and that. I've done all that. Done that, done that, done that. Done that one, done that one. Uh... Triangular detail into the recess. Yeah, I've done that one. Uh, press the fine detail K into the hole in the top corner of the console, noting which way round it goes. Is that which one's K? Let's go back again. K, yeah, that's the square one there. Noting which way round it goes. So the blue bit in that corner. And that's going into that hole up there. Okay, yep, yeah, that goes in there. Uh, this completes it. So I've got two bits there left over, but I'm sure I haven't actually got those left over. I'm sure if I flip back through carefully, I'll find out where they've got to go. Although, I'm not sure. I'm, I'm looking at the picture and seeing if I can see those on anywhere, and I can't. Right, let me go and see if I can find out if I've missed them. There's a little bit there that it might go. One bit there, and that bit definitely needs gluing in. So, see you in a moment. Okay, uh, two missing bits. That is an LED mount, which I obviously don't need quite yet until we do the LED bit. Um, the other part goes in, in there at a slight angle, which is very strange, but it's what it says it does. Uh, and that is also a bit loose, so I shall be putting some glue in these bits to hold them in place uh, I'll do that now and then come back and do the next stage right with those glued in place I'm happier with handling that now uh, we need from previous issues one of this I did just slip that in there that doesn't actually need that yet so this is the one of the first parts that we did uh, with these bits that need lighting and obviously the middle bit there that needs lighting so that's what we're going to do now we're going to do some lighting uh, we're taking this and putting it onto the middle of the three. Just like that. Okay, there we go. Um, and then we're taking this base piece. Uh, we're feeding that through that front hole. Yep. That's going up through here. Then it's plugging into the underside here like that. Yep, that holds in there, uh, and then obviously that's going to go in place, maybe. We've got the foot panels down there, and that's going to be right in the middle of the visible bit. Not sure about that. Let's bend those over backwards, like normal, so they're out of the way. That's better, yep. So the only pipe you can see in there is the one hanging down the side there, like what it should. So that's that. Cool. Uh, then turning this over, we're getting the two. Which way round are we doing it? Uh, this one's going down this side, and that's just going in there. Yep, and that one's going in there. And the wire is going around the outside. That works. So that goes around the edge. And then it does still go in the hole. Let's push those in there a little bit more securely. Like that. Uh, then we can plug it in and test it. It just says do that, do that, do that, and test it. Yes, there we go. So let's get that plugged in there, and we should have some lights come on. Um, right, yeah, the interior panel there looks lovely. I'm, I've got no trouble at all with that. There's a little bit of light visible underneath there, which is fine. 
Uh, these I'm not so happy with. They're going to need a little bit of attention. They're going to need to come apart and be light blocked again. I don't remember. Oh, they're screwed in place, so that's nice and easy. So I shall do that as a modification video. Um, and tidy that up a little bit, because I don't like that coming out there too brightly. Uh, but apart from that, that is stage complete. So that will go back in there. The, the seat will go in there-ish, like that. Uh, and there we have it. So far, so good. Uh, with some lights that are a bit too bright, but we'll tidy those up in a moment. Uh, that's that. Uh, that was issue 64. Uh, the picture on the back this week is X-Wing and a Defender, TIE Defender, I want to say, for the three-pointed one. I don't remember. But yes, I'm sure that's one of those. Uh, thank you for following along the build. That was issue 64. 65 will be coming along hopefully tomorrow. Uh, and I shall see you soon after that for more things. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye for now.